Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Rock from Flip the Thrift. Um, I am a reseller and one of the biggest things that I need to do sometimes is move things around from one store to another, cross lists and things like that. Those are like the biggest things that you can do um, to create more sales. So um, I use a program called InkFrog to move from one eBay store to another eBay store. Now you have to have, obviously you have to have two eBay stores. This is something that eBay will not allow you to do, not have two listings at the same time. So there is, <clears throat> there is a video. It's, it's a very good video, but it's not good enough. So I'm going to make this video good enough for you guys to understand and get this right. So um, there's a lot of hoops that you have to jump through. It doesn't make sense. It's kind of buggy and it's been around for a while. So I really don't understand what that deal is there, but I'm going to show you how to do it right. So obviously you have to have an Ink Frog account. You can do the 14 day trial. I obviously, my 14 day trial has expired. So I had to pay the $30 to have more than one store available. You'll go in and you'll do all that. This is mostly for people that have already tried this and failed and wanna know how to do it correctly. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into my eBay, you wanna go into eBay, then you wanna go down and you wanna click on unsold. So once you do that, first you have to go into your eBay store and you have to end your items. Those are, yeah, those are items that eBay took down that are violating their policies. So whatever, it's, they've happened over time. They don't go away. They stay in your ended. They stay in your active, even then when you end them. That's another story. So you have to end items. The magic number for me is 25. I've tried 50. Um, it has worked successfully, but I'm going to just do 25 at a time and just move them slowly over into a new store, um, which is not a new store. It's a store that I started last year, but it's been sitting stagnant. So I'm going to put some um, items in it. It's a 100% positive feedback store. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, I'm going to use it. So I'm paying for the store. I might as well use it anyway. You want to end the items first, then they're going to go into your ended, into your unsold. So then you're going to go over into InkFrog. Like I said, you're going to go into eBay. Then you're going to go down and hit unsold. I have already clicked all 25 of those items that have ended. Then you're going to go into the right top where it says bulk actions. You're going to hit list selective. Then you're going to have to change the store to the store that you have. You're going to have to make sure that you register those stores um, that you want in, um, in InkFrog. So unfortunately, there is no way to select all of them. So there's other ways to do this, but this is the way that I find that is the most, that is more simple and it's just easier to do. Obviously, simple and easy are the same word, whatever. I'm going to change it to my other store, which is deals for you 24. So unfortunately, like I said, you have to change all of them one by one. That's why it's easier for me to just do, you know, 25 at a time and boom, and boom, and boom. I'm going to change all of them to the store that I want to list them on. Boom. Whoops. Boom. Come on. Of course, that message is in the way. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom, eh? There we go. So now that all of them are going into that store, you're gonna hit launch listings. It's gonna say launch immediately. You're gonna have options. You can pick a date, whatever. I just do it immediately. And then you're gonna hit submit. It's gonna take a couple seconds. I'm gonna take a couple sips. Then it's going to say 25 listings scheduled. Sometimes um, some of them may fail to list, which is it happens. Then you're going to go in. I'm going to go into my other store, which I have open because you can't have two eBay stores, two eBay accounts active on the same in the same browser. So what I'm doing is I'm using Microsoft and I'm using Google Chrome. I use Microsoft for that other account. So here it is. Yeah, there's the screen recorder program. So here is my store. I'm going to go into active. 
and it's showing that here they are. There's all the board games. And they're gonna let they're gonna go in a little bit at a time. Mine are already there. All 25 of them are already there, so let's refresh that. Let's hit active. 195. 195. They're already there. So there they are. They have no views yet. What you're going to want to do also is, um, I always promote my items. Sometimes I'll do 10%, sometimes I'll do 2%. Either That's neither here nor there. I just wanted to show you guys the right way to do that, to move from one eBay to the next. If you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Ask me any questions that you want. I've been messing with this program for the longest time. It's very, it's almost like... It reads like stereo instructions, guys. It's just, it's a hard program to use. It is not simple. The way that some people um, and their videos that are out right now make, like I said, I'm not downing anyone. I'm not, I'm not talking bad about any particular person that has a tutorial video about Ink Frog. I'm just trying to give you guys an easier, better way. And I'm some of the um, things that you need to do were left out in this video, so. I wanted to show you guys the right way to do it. So that is it. And we are going to X out of all that. And there is me and my grandson. And we were done. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And please, guys, ask as many questions as you want. I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Peace out.